Hello, I'm Kaylee Farmer with Geography in the Real World. Today we are going to start off with the story of angles. An angle is formed by two rays with the same end point. Not only may they be two rays, but they can also be two lines or two line segments. The two end points create the vertex of the angle. Now that you know what an angle is, we'll turn it over to Bob Acute with the sports corner. Oof. 61, 62, 62. Well, hi, I'm Bob Acute. I'm here today to talk about angles. This is an acute angle. This is a right or 90 degree angle. This is an obtuse angle. Oh, I hate when that happens. In volleyball, when a player is getting ready to bump the ball, their arms form an acute angle. In softball, the pitcher uses a 360 degree circle while delivering the ball. At midpoint in the motion, the two arms form a 90 degree or right angle. Bob Q with Sports Corner. Join us tomorrow night when we discuss the basketball backboard. Is it a rectangle or just a square? This production made possible by Right Angles. Angles done right. Thanks, Bob. Now we're going to turn it over to around the world points and lines. A point is technically unidentified, but you may think of a point as a location with no size or shape. Now let's turn it over to Glenda Point a lot with a few words about around the world. Hi, I'm Glenda Point a lot with a few words about points around the world. We have done some research here in our studios and found that points have no size. Therefore, they may be as big as Africa or as small as a dot on a piece of paper. You can use points in the real world to find a destination using longitude and latitude, or you can use them around the world because points, they're everywhere. There are billions of points in a classroom when you walk out the door and on you. Wait, one second please. Really? Great news! We just got word that Priscilla Point and Paul Wall have a new music premiering right here. It's called, you guessed it, Points. Points, they're everywhere. Points, they're in your chair. Points, can't you see? The points can be as small as a flea. Points. Undefined points have no shape or size points. The here and here. Now let's kick it in the high gear. Good. Yo, Paul Wall, what do points on me and you? Uh, I got a point here, I got a point there, but y'all don't care because you can get them anywhere. Yo, uh, what I do? That's how I roll, and now you gotta come see my show point. Huh? Well, wasn't that delightful? Glinda Point a lot has come down with a serious medical illness that needs to be taken care of immediately. So I'm going to be taking over around the world with lines. Now, a line is also technically unidentified. You can think of a line as a whole bunch of little points that go on into two different directions with no end. Some famous lines that go around the world are the equator, which is probably the most known line. It goes all the way around the world and never, ever, ever stops. Now, there's also two other lines, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. These two lines that go around the world are called parallel lines. Now, there are also some other lines called line segments. You may think of these as lines, but they do not extend on forever. These lines have a certain stopping point that they end, and that's why they are line segments. Thank you.
For our last bit of news, we are going to talk about planes. Planes are technically unidentified, but they do have a flat surface with no thickness. To talk more about planes, we are going to go up, up, and away on a little ride. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, and I'm here to talk about planes. I love riding on my first class private jet because I can look out of the window all I want. Why would Paris Hilton want to look out of a window of a plane, you ask? Well, that is because I can see another plane. No, silly, not one that flies. A mathematical one. When I look out of a plane, the land looks like a flat surface that seems to never end, which, what a which is what a plane is. There are also other planes everywhere. A wall can be a plane, a mirror can be a plane, but it's so hard to find a real true plane because a mathematical plane never ends. So, when I'm on a plane up and up away, I can see another plane. Thank you for tuning in to Geometry in the Real World. Do, 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 do.